I'd like to show you this really great edge for your quilt. They're called prairie points. They're fun, they're easy, and they are uh, a great way to bind uh, so that you don't have any handwork to do. It's all finished when you're done, and I hope you enjoy this video. Now I'm going to cut my squares for my prairie points. I have my 45 inch width cotton and it, here it's open here so the salvages which are these parts of the fabric are together and try to line them up exactly aligned like that okay and then you bring the fold of the fabric up to the salvages okay so once this is lined up <clears throat> I can see here that it's a little wider here than here when I'm comparing it to this line. So I want it to be straight or absolutely perpendicular to this line. So I'll align my ruler and with my rotary cutter cut it. Okay, now I'm going to have a really... Now before you move your ruler, make sure it's cut all the way through. There we go. Now I've got it exactly on that line. And I want to cut four inches, one, two, three, four. So I'm going to align it there, here, and here with the line. And cut it again. Now I've got my four inch wide strip. I'll do several of these. And then I'll stack them on top of each other. I can do about three. It gets pretty thick after a while. Line it up again with this line so that your cuts here will be exactly perpendicular. And I want to cut off all the little salvage. You know, there's little um, needle marks here where the fabric was held on the loom. I want to cut all of that off. So. Again, I'm going to align it with this line this way, and then I'll uh, align it with where I want this line to cut, and cut all those edges off. Then I'll count again, four, one, two, three, four, and align it. Kind of hard to see this line on this blue, but it's there. And I'm just going to cut all my four inch squares like that. Now when you fold it, fold a diagonal, point to point, and fold it across like that. Now when it's placed on the quilt, you're going to overlap them so that they will cross here at the point at a quarter of an inch, which is this, the seam that you're going to put on. Okay. And this is a four inch block and it's actually one, two, three, four inches wide. But when you come in that quarter of an inch, it's almost three, and a half inches, one, two, three, three and three quarters inches. So that's what you can divide into your length and width of a quilt to know how many um, prey points you'll need. Now I'm coming up to a corner and I, I could have figured out the size of the quilt for exactly placing so many prairie points, but often even that doesn't work because of the little bit of variance in the overlap. So when I come up to a corner, I want to make sure that these corner prairie points are right at the point, like this. Otherwise, they don't turn very well. So I'm going to start maybe three back and place this prairie point now I can 
place these I'm going to overlap them a little bit more here and split the difference so they're all overlapped a little bit more so that this will come out even at the corner and it will work just great keep that raw edge right on the end of the quilt top whoops flip that over you kind of have to feed that under the foot To the corner. Okay, next I'm going to put a prairie point lined up exactly, fold, fold, and I'm going to line it up exactly together on that point, like that. That's how I do my corner, and it will turn out great. I just sew and then as I go along fold out another prairie point it really doesn't take very long and we'll show you how we when we put this together these prairie points maybe they took a little bit of time but now I don't have to bind that quilt because my prairie points are the edge and I just love that I love being done I don't have all the handwork in um, binding. Okay, so as I come up, I might have to lift the foot a little bit. Alright, so I'll finish out this side and then we'll show you the next step. Now what I've done is I've layered my quilt that has the prairie points sewn on to um, backing and batting. And I make sure they're exactly the right size. And then I'm going to, and I pin it so it's laying nice and straight. And then I like to sew on the side that has the prairie points just so I can see where they're stitched. I want to make sure I don't stitch on the other side of that. I want it to be on that line as close as I can. And I'm going to sew these three layers together all the way around, leaving enough to turn, probably about five or six inches, so that I can turn the whole quilt through that opening. And I'll show you that. Now I've turned it right side out, and I wanted to show you how the corner works by putting those prairie points together. It doesn't work if your prairie point is halfway out here. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Then I have the opening here that I've just pinned. I've just turned under and put it right on that seam where the prairie points were attached. Pin it like that. And then I'm just going to blind stitch that closed. The other thing you can do is just stitch in the ditch along this edge if you'd like to do that. That kind of holds the prairie points straight. Um, and you wouldn't even have to blind stitch this opening if you do that. But it just turns out darning. Look how cute that is. And I didn't have to bind it. It's all done. And I'll then, um, tie it, put it on a quilt frame, and just tie it or put it on a quilt frame, hand baste it, and then machine quilt it. And that works really great too. And I hope this has been a fun video for you.